Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Susan Roberts in Washington, D.C. U.S. President Donald Trump lashes out Thursday. It was less than 24 hours after a federal judge overturned his executive order, temporarily banning immigrants from seven predominantly Muslim nations. CGTN's Sean Calebs has our story. Another day, another fresh round of protests directed at U.S. President Donald Trump. In Washington, D.C. and many other cities, legions of demonstrators continue to rail against the administration. They say they are fed up with Trump's efforts to bar immigrants from seven mostly Muslim nations from entering the U.S. Trump is doubling down, lashing out through his preferred medium with a series of tweets. One reading, the opinion of this so-called judge, which essentially takes law enforcement away from our country, is ridiculous and will be overturned. In office a little more than two weeks, Trump now faces a growing chorus at home and abroad, unhappy with his performance. Aquí estamos unidos para proclamar... We are here united to proclaim that we are all Americans. We are here in unity, in solidarity with the Muslim community, saying we are with them. We are against the threats that they are facing from these executive orders. You don't build a strong nation by saying, hey, the person next door, I'm not going to trust you, I'm going to be suspicious of you, because that only creates and feels hatred and fear. Trump's spokesman is vowing to fight the ruling from a federal judge in Washington state that for the time being slams the brakes on the travel ban. The administration says it will file a legal challenge through the U.S. Department of Justice at the earliest possible time. Trump's first couple of weeks in office have been characterized by dropping poll numbers and legal action. Already, Trump faces 55 lawsuits filed against his actions, more than 10 times greater than the average of the last three U.S. presidents. This is what democracy looks like. In the meantime, the number of U.S. protests from coast to coast shows no sign of abating. The U.S. State Department had revoked some 60,000 visas from abroad since Trump instituted the travel ban on January 27th. But for the time being, it is back to travel as usual, with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security saying it has halted any and all actions related to the travel ban. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Washington. President Trump is at his resort in southern Florida. An anti-Trump march is taking place in the nearby city of West Palm Beach. CGTN's Nitsa Soledad Perez is in the thick of things. Nitsa, has there been a big turnout for this protest near Donald Trump's weekend retreat? Hundreds of anti-Trump protesters have gathered here in Palm Beach in front of the Trump Plaza. They start assembling around 5 p.m. Eastern time, and they're already walking, as you can see, towards Mar-a-Lago, the President Trump vacationing property, or the Winter White House, as he likes to call it. Uh, protesters are mostly chanting no ban, no wall, but it seems that all causes against Trump's policies have gathered here this afternoon. Since I got to this area, I've been reading signs uh, defending climate change, proclaiming women's rights, even asking for uh, President Trump's impeachment. Uh, Mr. Trump is here in uh, Mar-a-Lago for the first time as president, and he's likely to attend the annual gala for the American Red Cross. Interestingly enough, this organization, the American Red Cross, is offering relief to those affected by Trump's moratorium on the U.S. refugee program. Susan? Nisa, has there been any reaction from Donald Trump, even on Twitter? Well, as of now, uh, I haven't checked Twitter, to be totally honest. Most likely, he's already responding um, to uh, what protesters are saying. He's always wanted to be historic, and um, I guess he's definitely doing so. Um, as someone that has been covering uh, Florida for the past five years, this state is not known for civic engagement or that many protests. Today, early on in, in the area of Miami, we saw hundreds of people in the Bayfront Park area. And now this evening, we're seeing more hundreds of people, protesters against Mr. Trump policies here in West Palm Beach. So he's getting a lot of traction and attention. And I'm sure if he hasn't responded yet, he will very soon. Susan. Nita Soledad Perez, live in West Palm Beach, Florida. Nita, thank you.
In London, mass rallies against the Trump travel ban. Not only are they angry with President Trump, they're also angry with UK Prime Minister Theresa May. CGTN's Richard Bestick has our story. Thousands of kilometers from Washington. And the intensity of feeling that surrounds US President Donald Trump's seven nation travel ban shows no sign of letting up. The streets of London again choked by those protesting Trump's executive order. We need to stand up to people like Trump and say we really are completely disgusted by what you're doing. The things that he's threatening, the policies he's threatening are going to threaten us all worldwide. And when one group are oppressed, we are all oppressed and nobody is safe. We can show Trump that we can stand up for this and we can yes. fight back! Yes. The protest follows a European Union summit in Malta, where UK Prime Minister Theresa May offered to act as a bridge to the Trump administration. Her efforts firmly rejected by the other 27 EU presidents and prime ministers. She returned to London only to find anti-Trump protests on the streets of her capital. Another element of anger to this uh, protest, separate and distinct from the demonstration against President Trump's travel ban. It is the decision by the UK Prime Minister to invite the US President to London for dinner with the Queen and a state visit. Protesters called on Prime Minister May to withdraw her controversial invitation to President Trump, something the UK leader has so far refused to do. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.